Again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard, and I have sort of got a plan. I have a bunch of colors also next to me, and what I want to do is take my 16 by 20 inch canvas that's coming over here right now, in a moment, <laughs> as soon as I get my colors out of the way, and um, I'm going to try and find the center of this. I wish I had just like an embroidery hoop or something. That would work well. I think that I'm going to take a chance that I still have a fairly decent eye if I can spin this thing around at all with all those bottles there. I didn't think this out well enough. Okay, so I'm going to look at it from a few directions and see if I can't correct myself until I get something that seems more like centered. Should be happening any second now. All right, so my idea is this. There's my center circle. I'm going to make it a gold one. Hopefully, where's my straw? I've been thinking about this a while, and that's not the most even circle I ever saw, but I think because the paint is wet and in a fairly decent layer, that it will it will level itself out, especially since it has Floetrol in it, which is a leveling agent. I'm going to just throw that right down in there and hope that it's okay. I have white satin enamel, which I should wait to put in until after other things. Okay then, I want to give myself permission to put down colors that I like and make them uneven. I was going to use a shovel to do this, but I just, I'm not ready to use all those colors. I'm probably going to come back through and put some white enamel between some things. And if what I, I'm planning isn't doesn't work the way I'm planning it, I'll go ahead and use a basting brush because really what I want to do is use chain. Um, yeah, I'm going to give myself some of this too. I really do want a brighter color near that center. So I guess I'm just going to, yeah, am I? <laughs> let's, let's grab something else. Let's just keep going with this adding paint until we can't add paint anymore. I want to start. <laughs> I want to start now. I'm going to have to have a contrasting color in there. I really, really am. And yeah, I'm going out of my way to make a rainbow circle that seems to be fairly uneven. And I'm hoping that I'm going to get away with it because my intention is to um, not tilt. I've never done anything exactly like this. I've used a lot less paint to pull over a wet surface, and this is not that. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, because I haven't done exactly this before. I really want some orange, yellow-orange, but I'm going to put this enamel down right now before I forget and then that orange and I better hurry up because it feels like I'm running out so as uneven as that is that's still what I wanted and I've got something happening inside the tip of that bottle that is helping me with my very, very organic, oh please, perfect. No idea where that landed. Fortunately, 
There's nothing precious around my studio. That'll be okay. I'm gonna give it some more gold. This is gonna be cool looking, you wait. Even without doing anything to it. So what I was thinking was I would put some dark color at the outside edge, which should probably wind up being a dark purple. Still need to put my white around the center, but I want it nice and wet. I also want my bottles out of the way. I'm hoping that this is something anybody can do. And I know somebody's going, ah, in the audience, but you look, I'm not being precise by any stretch of the imagination. I am going to let that go enough over the edge so it doesn't seem like it's going to be an issue. I just want something for the edges, and I guess what that means to me is if I have this purple and it's a salad color, I should be able to Ooh, that just makes me want to pull it out with my spatula. I should be able to what? I don't know anymore. I was busy thinking about pushing my spatula into all the little holes. I should be able to cover the edge later tomorrow or even later today with some of this purple, which isn't changed too much. Just trying to avoid spreading too much of it yet so that when I do spread it, it will be similar yeah, I'm just going to wipe off my spatula. I may not get around this whole circle. I might want to pull in, pull in instead of out. But right now, I'm just going to start. I'm going to throw that in the bucket. I'm going to put my white paint down, which is an enamel gloss from Folk Art. And the reason I'm using the white instead of the black is because I want to do this flower pattern. And this is crazy. <laughs> I'm feeling crazy. All right. I'm going to go right in there. And I'm going to put that down somewhere else so I don't use the same piece of chain twice. And I'm going to go right to the other side and hope this doesn't turn out very badly. And then once the paint settles off the chain, ah, wrong end. Maybe I can use it again. Or maybe there'll be an immediate part two. I'm just curling the chain around. And following through. I have a bunch of pieces. I originally, when I bought this, I bought 10 feet. Oh, that one wasn't quite right. That's okay. I'm going to try and use it a, a double, especially with the bad one, which is that one, because that'll probably make the, um, the pattern similar. Okay, I've still got some more pieces. I'm very nervous about this. but I've wanted to do it for a while now. All right, it's time to start again. Just gonna try my hardest to follow along. Even though I'm using schmutzy chain, I'm just gonna keep following the rest of the patterns for the rest of the piece. Figuring I can always put my spatula in where I need to. I can always tip and swipe, too. <laughs> I think I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing until I run out of time. Come on, stop swinging. And when I start to see that there are holes... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's where I'll put my chain the next time. Yes, and I'm not cleaning off my chain for on purpose. 
who knows what's going to happen to that center or how many times I'm going to overlap something like that or even how many times I'm going to pull the chain out or if I'm going to start at the outside and go back inside which might be an option at this point but I'm having a good time I'm not getting fancy with trying to figure out to change directions or anything. I'm just looking for little gaps and pulling my chain through them. And it's looking pretty cool in spite of my nervousness. And now it's time to look for more gaps further on down the road and just go ahead and give myself permission to try and pull over them right where, wherever they are just pull over them I have that other white enamel oh I see that I've got something big to go back there to Yep, <laughs> not much to say about this. Really trying to focus on not screwing it up and getting amazing patterns. Might take you a little while to do. Might be well worth the effort. Might be a little uncomfortable constantly looking for the places that are missing paint. which is the only way to fill this in until I decide I want to um, absolutely use the spatula. I'm loving seeing the patterns though. I don't know how small I can make one of those pulls. I don't know what that item is right there either. I'm going to have to pull that out. I think I've got most of the things that I need to get, and it's very cool. And if you're just persistent, you can do this. I saw that. Don't hear a thing. Whatever you are, go away. It's a very organic pattern because of the white and because of the just the need to fill the spaces where the gaps are. I am still going to have to put a spatula into a couple of places. I want to go all the way up here. Hey, that worked. That's cool. I use GAC 800 in all my paint mixes, so that means that I can leave my, uh, my paint heavy. This is pretty bizarre. I think I want one more of those right up here. And I might need another one to be to create some, some kind of symmetry. And I got a couple purple corners, but I think I'm going to leave them because I can replicate that color. And I don't see too many spots that need a lot of adjustment. And I'm hoping, oh, that was a bad one. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Well, I can fix that. Oh, I can fix that right here. And I have a gap that needs to be fixed. Yes, you could clean the chain off in between, but I really think that uh, you're going to get some interesting cells, and that's bizarre. That is just very cool. Yep, you get more interesting cells with a big, with more of a mix of paint. 
fill in a little bit. This is the only part, this and that. And you can stop. You don't have to pull all the way through if you don't want to. Where's the other one I said? Right there. Boy, I don't know if that one really needs it or not. I got a little gap right here. I got some really cool cells right there too. So now I just want to pull in from the outside. See if I can just drag through some of those spots that are canvas. Instead of sticking my skewer in there, because the chain will make a more similar pattern. I keep seeing stuff. Where's my tweezers? Come here, tweezers. I am going to run out of time in 45 seconds, so I should tell you guys. Oh, I'll still have a couple minutes. I should tell you guys that um, you can find Facebook groups. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors. Ooh, I like that from the inside out. That's cool. I'm glad I did that. Just let it wind up. Just pull that right in. Let it flip around. It makes another kind of pattern. I'm going to let the paint residuals come right off of there and break up that line. It's unlike other lines. This is pretty cool. Alright, so I love you guys. There's 85,000 of you. Subscribe, and thank you very much for that. If you watch the videos longer, you can actually help keep me at YouTube. If you give me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it, and uh, your comments are very appreciated. They keep my morale up while I've lost two-thirds of my income here, and I'm still trying to keep you keep you guys in videos and uh, you inspire the heck out of me so it's beneficial for me too. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Kind of excited about the possibilities and looking for places to stick my finger in to, uh, where's that purple? That's not it. <laughs> to finish this off, but I think what I really want to do is say thank you for all the contributions that have kept me painting all this time. I really want to try something. Pardon me for doing this. I just need to know, yep, if I can do, steal a little paint and use my skewer, continue some of the shapes that I started with the chain, with the skewer, right through the cent right through the outside edge. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, really. I think some of these lines are not perfect in the center, but the center is as perfect as I need it to be. I've got a crib sheet, and I didn't read it. So, um, thanks. I thank you for the comments. I thank you guys for the contributions. If you want to be in the monthly drawing, there are multiple paintings, books, a lesson, uh, all up for grabs. If you're a $10 minimum donation, you get an automatic... I'm going to have to look for more spots, and then torch. I torch to release the, to release the caught air in the paint, but... Um, I'm, I'm afraid there might be the odd little spot that needs a finger touch. The paint is heavy enough, so it's not a problem. I could probably do this again with, um, with a straw and have a completely different... I could blow through the center, but um, I'm liking what I've got, and so I'm going to be happy with it to a point. <laughs> She said, knowing you would not believe her. Yeah, I don't want to mess with a good thing. There it is. There's the spot I was looking for. So keep an eye out for tomorrow's video on my, um, on my channel, community page, and Facebook, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. I post the night before. If you watch my videos, if you binge watch my videos, you're a big assistance to me. And my playlists are created playlists, and um, you can find those on my channel too, along with PayPal and Patreon on the header and underneath the video. That's where you can make a donation if you want to. And um, I'm sure I'm forgetting all kinds of stuff. Facebook Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Ex Expressionist Art Studio Gallery uh, Fans and Collectors is for fans and collectors. Expressionist